What's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you my workout. This is vlog number one of how I work out to get strong. So first we have bench, one plate, then now we're at two plates. These are just the warm-ups. Um, I usually do 135 for five, 225 for five, and then now I'm moving on to 245 for five sets of four. This is my program. I'm doing five by four of 80%. Today was my volume day. As you can see, these reps are coming off pretty smooth. Um, Crunch Fitness doesn't have my favorite benches, but it's not the worst thing in the world. I've been just working on my form and trying to get back up to where I used to be, which at the peak was around 335 and 345. Right now, I would estimate my max is probably around 295 on a good day at 175 pound body weight. So I think I'm heading in the right direction, but I'm still a ways away to where I need to be and where I want to be to become the ultimate athlete, which is what I'm going for. So after bench, I went to squats. I hit 135 for three reps, which is what I usually do for my warm up. I don't like to do too much volume for my squats because I'm fine with how my legs are. And I also don't like to be sore for my legs when I do boxing and just life in general. I'm not a huge leg guy, but I do believe in having strong legs. So I was doing an explosive day, five sets of two at 80% of my max. This is my first set of squats for the working sets, 245, just two reps. You can see I'm going nice and easy. It's pretty good um, depth. The volume is low, so I'm trying to really push with the two reps. Perfect form, getting to depth, hitting at least parallel. I tried to do five sets, but I only ended up getting in four because I miscounted. For some reason, I counted the 225 as one of my working sets, so that was my fault, but I'll make sure I correct that, and next time I get in the gym, I'll do even more, so it's no worries. Then I went on to my cardio slash my hobby, which is boxing right now. This is just some of my head movement stuff I was working on. Um, yeah, I really do love boxing. I've always been a fan of boxing, but only recently have I gone into it. I started going to a boxing gym. This is some shadow boxing, working on my defense. It's really fun. This is my first round of shadow boxing, um, sim simulating a fight. I'm actually throwing punches, trying to move my head, trying to move around. I have a smoker fight event um this upcoming friday so i'm training for that i've really improved my cardio honestly since i started boxing before i could barely run a mile now i can run two and a half miles without stopping um it's not the fastest i've never been the best cardio wise but um boxing helps me to do cardio while also doing something i enjoy so it doesn't feel as tiring and as dreadful as just running does um and then when I'm running, I have something to run for because I know that when I'm sparring or when I'm training, I don't want to be super tired. So it gives me some incentive. After I did the shadow boxing, I went to the bag. This is just one of the drills I've been working on to um, slip punches and keep my hands up. It's a work in progress, but these are a few good reps I had. And I'm just trying to improve a lot on slipping my punches, keeping my hands up and just not getting hit so much. Because once you start sparring, you don't want to get hit. And then this is my first round of bag work. I'm just working smooth, smooth punches, moving my head, keeping my hands up. A lot of times I have a tendency as the round goes on to let my hands drop, which is something I'm trying to work on a lot. Um, it's getting a little better. It was horrible when I was first starting. Um, I, I hit the bag for one or two years consistently when I was in high school, and then I kind of stopped. But once I picked it back up again, I still had that habit, and... One of the biggest things I regret is not going to a boxing gym from right when I started because I learned some terrible fundamentals. Um, I'd keep my hands down because pros keep their hands down. And I wasn't too concerned about that, but I realized that pros keep their hands down because they know how to measure their defense in an expert manner. So they know when to keep their hands down, when to put their hands up. Um, they have good head movement. So even if they get hit, a lot of the shots are grazing. It's not the same as just some average Joe boxing. So keeping your hands up is very important. I'm working on it a lot. It's nowhere where I want it to be, but it's getting better. Um, I'm currently, as I said, fighting on Friday. So I'm really um, focusing on that. I'm still focusing on my workouts, but at the same time, I would say that I've been putting a slight priority on boxing 
and making sure that I'm not super sore for the next training session. So I have been keeping that in mind as I work out. This is my power shots round. I usually do three rounds of shadow boxing, three rounds of heavy bag work. And then I try to do either running, like jogging for a couple miles or jump rope. That doesn't always happen today. This is my power shot round. I thought I'd show you guys. My shots are pretty powerful, but it's a lot of times getting into the right positioning. And then when you're in sparring, it's a whole nother game because there's someone punching back at you. They could be taller. The distance is off. So you really got to, it's not like hitting the heavy bag at all, honestly. The heavy bag, you can move around with it and it helps you with your punches. But once you get into sparring, it's a whole nother game. But I do like to unleash on the heavy bag at the end just to make sure I'm staying powerful. And I'm also trying to work on keeping my hands up, even though it's not the best. I went on to pull-ups after. I figure I have to get some accessories in to keep my back strong when I'm benching two to three times a week. So I did four sets of pull, uh, four sets of pull-ups, three reps the first one, four reps the second one, five sets the third one, and then six reps the fourth set. I didn't record the first set, but I got the uh, final three. And to figure, finish off, I did some shadow boxing. I shadow boxed for one minute again. This was just a cool down. I was going to run, but the gym was going to close in a bit and I had to leave. So I decided why not just do one more round of shadow boxing. It couldn't hurt, especially with the fight coming up, as I said. I'm really excited for the first fight. It's going to be controlled, basically like a glorified sparring match, but it'll be in front of people and with a live opponent. So it'll be fun. Um, yeah, I noticed that when I end my sparring, my um, workouts, my shadow boxing is usually a lot smoother because I've done a lot of punching and hitting the bag, three shadow boxing rounds before. So it's really smooth. This is how I work out. I'm going to, if you guys are interested, post how I work out to get stronger and also just more athletic in general. I think it's a very beneficial workout. It's three times a week. It's, it's a workout that you can easily scale to get stronger. It's one you can use to maintain when you're cutting. And it's just not the most time-consuming workout. It's only three days a week, but you get you cover all your bases. So let me know if you guys want me to talk about that, and I'm out. Peace.